Hi folks, yesterday I got my new Rigel oscilloscope. It's a limited edition MHO98. It's a beautiful device. The only issue that I had was um, the licensing or options as well. Basically, you get your oscilloscope and options like um, decoding SPI, CAN bus and stuff like that. The only issue with the options is that they are not pre-installed on the device and yeah they are basically limited for a specific duration and you need to license or add additional licenses for your device basically what you have to do is go to the rigel page at the bottom you will find a link for license activation just click that one this will get you to this page. There you have to enter the key, a serial number of your device and the verification code. The key is normally provided by the seller where you purchased your device and you will get a certificate, something like that. This is just from another video. And basically in there you will find the key for your device and just enter it in the field and the serial number of your device, the verification code, and then just press generate. Um, it will ask you again if the serial number is correct because you can't change that afterwards. So be um, very patient and check it twice and just press the generate button, which will give you um, a link to download for your license file. This License file basically has a long license key in it. You can open it with any text editor and you will need that later on. And there are multiple options how to enable the, the options or to enable the license on your device. And one of them was like, yeah, just put the license file in the root directory of your USB stick, put the USB stick in your device and everything is fine. The only issue with that is, yeah, this didn't, it didn't work for me. I could put in the USB stick, I could um, open the USB stick, I could copy the license file from the USB stick to my device, which did nothing. There has been um, a few tutorials which are a little bit older and on the bigger devices like the 5000 series and stuff like that, where they have um, a um, separate button where you can install a license um, or the options and this basically is not present on this device and I was a little bit lost but there is another way how you can enter your license key basically you can use the so-called skippy commands and to access them you just need to get your device into network you can use the Wi-Fi or the ethernet cable, the Wi-Fi dongle is in the front USB port of the device and or you plug in the ethernet cable into the back of the oscilloscope. Basically all you need is to find out the IP address of your device and then you can access the web interface of it um, with any browser, just enter the IP address and it will open the web interface um, and then you can access the Rigel web control and there is the skippy panel control where you can send the skippy commands so and now we have to find out what skippy command we need for our license file we can make this a little bit bigger because we will need a little bit more space to, to see what we are doing because this is a little bit longer one. And basically on the Rigel page, there are, um, second, there are, there's this manual sections where you can um, get the programming, the MHO 900 programming guide. You just download that and it opens in the browser or whatever tool you have for PDFs. And basically in there you just um, search for options and then you come here to system option install. So we can install the option with this skippy command and they 
and basically what is um, attached to the MHO 98 is this BND option which has um, basically which is the bundle for all these other options and what we need they they have an example here what we need is basically that one we can just copy that one in here system option install MHO 900 series this is correct I tested that one and then the which type of, of option you have which is the bundle for us and then just add and then you open your license file and copy whatever um, license code you have something like that for example and then it should look something like that one and then you just send to your device and then after a few seconds it should give you um, a, a response back so that everything has been um, installed correctly and then if you if you um, open the web control it opens basically the the screen what's on your what's on your um, device and then you just click down here and there's the options tab and then you can see that all the options are um, forever and not just limited for a period of time and stuff like that so that was the way how it worked for me hope it helps someone